Hello, I'm FK Exercise and one of my favorite sci-fi concepts has to be the one of infinitely looping time. I love the idea of a day repeating itself over and over again, and although you might know this as Groundhog's Day or Edge of Tomorrow or any of the other movies that have gone with this, it's something I would love to have happen in my real life, and although sadly that's never going to happen because sci-fi isn't the real world, who would have thought it, what I can actually do is set up a Minecraft server and give this same experience to lots of people joining the world. Except to make it really accurate, instead of telling them it's going to reset every 24 hours, what I'm going to be doing is taking a specific special part of my Let's Play world that you're seeing right here. It's my village that's kind of fortified on all sides and around here you will eventually see less my Let's Play world. It's a world a lot of people should like and should find familiar, but every single 24 hour period we're going to reset it and not say anything. We're not going to mention the resets, no one's going to know about them, we're just going to reset it exactly to this point and we're going to see what happens as people go through the infinitely looping series. Because remember, although I set these links to public and anyone can join, and we'll get certain different players joining each day, uh, the same people will be trying to join the server every day, and they'll get confused as to why all their progress keeps resetting to this exact point in this exact village, and that is something I'm really curious about. What will people do as time goes on? Will people put the most effort in in the first 24 hours, and then they'll get more mellow as time goes on? Or will the opposite happen? Will people try to wreck it because it's a special world that they're getting to see for the first time, and they just can't resist the idea of setting it on fire in the first day, and then people get more responsible as time goes on. I generally don't know which one will happen, but the idea of it fascinates me because I think people's behavior really will change as they learn that the server resets every 24 hours, if they even learn that at all. So that's what we'll be finding out in this particular realm experiment, and let's get straight into it. So I've published the realm in my normal way. If you're curious, I post it on my Twitter as well as my Discord uh, so that people can get in there. And uh, yeah, we're going to let people join the server and the experiment will just be, it's my let's play world. Let's see what people do. Look how happy, happy city is that fact, for instance, um, and also Aquatax says, I doubt it'll last. Sometimes it's just factually true that you have to lie to your participants to conduct an accurate science experiment. This is actually the case with the Stanford experiment that people cite as why humans are so cruel, but it's also true for like basically all drug testing. You lie to the people who are taking the drug so they don't get the placebo effect, and that's why we're going to be seeing, with no knowledge of the 24 hourly resets, how people deal with this. So let's give people 24 hours and see how this goes. So one of my theories was that people would maybe help the improvement of the village that we spawned in and maybe make it a bigger, better village as one of the things that would signify the village was getting better. But instead, what seems to have happened is people raided it for food and then immediately decided, you know what, if there's no food in the village, why have a village at all? And then the entire thing has been destroyed. I'm not sure if it was for resources or if people just decided, you know what, let's get explosive because spawning people near a desert is a dangerous decision. Once you have sand, you just need gunpowder and you can start making explosions, which people apparently made promptly everywhere around the spawn. It's not as bad as we've seen on previous videos, but you know, I gave them 12 hours in my sacred Let's Play world and this is what people decided to do. The happier side of this is at least the rest of the world is pretty much, you know, undestroyed. People have made small changes, like they put a campfire on top of my uh, pumpkin. I kind of like it, it looks like a hat, doesn't it? And yeah, people have been uh, like looking around the rest of the world and mostly leaving it untouched besides weird areas like this where I think someone had a creeper explosion and they felt bad so they covered it up with Neverack. So yeah, people appear respectful for the rest of the world. But again, this is 12 hours in. Let's see how things go after the full day when we're about to reset. So just before the first reset, you can see how like, yep, the entire spawn area, you know, my village that I was wondering, will people help it along or will it go downhill? It looks like it's entirely destroyed. I don't know what it is about these servers and villagers, but villagers have no chance of surviving because this is not just, oh yeah, they they tore, tore down the walls, they destroyed the farm crops and the buildings themselves. But clearly at some point, someone had to kill all these villagers and that's kind of brutal. Um, yeah, the entire spawn area is this kind of like, everyone took a big, uh, you know, upon themselves to destroy it seems but then nearby you can see how people actually were mildly productive I mean there's a somewhat nice house here I mean it's not nice but it's not the ugliest thing you've seen in the world so that's that's a compliment I'd say I will say people have done one productive thing and that is destroying all of the end islands I learned about this from the guy in chat who's just like by the way the end islands you've been destroying on stream someone's managed to destroy them entirely I can't imagine that would have been done in survival look at the amount of stuff that's been done right here um, and it's kind of weird to me that they managed to destroy it all and replace it with this little island right here that is entirely fake all of the end islands around my end have been destroyed which means that and also the glass has been fixed which means these people somehow have managed to fix my end in this amount of time. It's pretty crazy to look at actually. 
The reason I think this must be fake though, the reason I think like someone may be hacked or people use some form of tools to destroy it that weren't uh, natural is because the amount of endstone I have in these chests has gone down, not up. So people have taken endstone. Uh, and despite the, you know, hundreds of thousands of blocks that have to be mined, uh, we can't find any proof of where they went or when. So I'm just saying something suspicious has gone on here, but at least people did something productive, even if I'm curious about how they did it. But overall, in the first 24 hours, I'd say more harm has been done than good around here and very little good has been done in general. It's actually pretty tame for the results of 24 hours, but again, after all this destruction that people are accepting as the norm, we're just going to magically reset now and see if, uh, you know, people react to that in any way. And now everything mysteriously seems to be exactly as it was a day ago. Uh, I think because the, there's only 10 people in a room uh, max at one time, it might be that it takes a few days for the same people to notice it's respawning to the same way each time, or they might just start thinking like, oh, he's fixing it because this is the first day. But I'm curious as to how that changes as time goes on, because for now, most people are just like, oh, it's okay again. Look, I can get potatoes now, or I can start trading with the villagers, which definitely exist, or this guy trying to get some wood already. Um, and yeah, I want to see how that changes as time goes on. But yeah, I do kind of want to know, over the next 24 hours, will things get more severe because people think the thing's going to happen? Or will fake people actually start being productive, being like, well, it's going to reset? Or do they not care and this is just another random uh, batch of people? We don't know for sure until we come back in 24 hours. Quite incredibly to me, somehow things got better over the last 12 hours, and in fact, things are significantly better today than they were yesterday. Serious improvements have been made all over the village, as you can see, in a few different places around here, with like a little shrine to the villagers, this little peak, uh, you know, peak over here, but also everything's been repaired, all the damage other people did has been fixed, and even things that I wish I'd come up with are now being built. Stuff like this little guard post, like a way to actually walk up onto the walls, it makes a lot of sense. Why haven't I done this? Uh, stuff like this little corner, so I can see real high up if I want to. This makes a lot of sense. I really should be doing something along these lines, especially using this type of wood that fits with the village. Like, people have done some pretty smart stuff right here, but it's all, you know, kind of uh, ruined by the fact that people took the Toy Cat sign and made it say, Toy Cat smells good. You know, what are you all about? You get reset for this, you monsters. By the way, I don't know, is it just a British school thing, or is it all school thing, or is it just my school that, like, you'd say, like, oh yeah, person's name, like, you know, Jimmy, smells and then they'd be like oh, you offended me and then you'd say good and then be like oh i guess i can't be offended anymore it, it was the weirdest thing that i can't work out you know kids are dumb right like everything that kids do is stupid and that's one of those things where it's like i can't even work out why or how that originates or how that spreads but yeah toy cat smells good i'm offended but let's check out the rest of the world just very briefly see what else is going on because people do have houses like right over here and they're kind of fun Toy cat is yes, thank you. So a lot of the rest of the world is untouched, but every now and then you see something like this where it's like, wait, what? This one just built a, a giant statue of a cat again, but this giant statue of a cat is being stabbed right through the belly. People have also been really nice and they've expanded my cave house significantly. Look how much more space there is in here. Look how much more light gets in. Uh, look how the chest room has been expanded significantly. We just have so much more, you know, room for activities in here. And I really like that. So yeah, cave house significantly expanded. Really, really cool. Also, if we look at my second house, the kind of uh, intermediate house, you can see how they've added way more windows in the in the, you know, in the form of just literally not having walls. That's really cool. Look how much area my house is. Love this. This is uh, not a standard of Minecraft build. And then let's go look at the third house, which is over this direction. Wow, people have installed a pretty serious skylight right here. Look how much more light gets into the house. Look how easy you can access the basement now. People have been uh, really improving all of my houses today, it seems. But yeah, for the most part, it seems as though this is the opposite of yesterday. People, uh, you know, like put their productive efforts into the center and maybe you could argue that statue. And outside of the center, the parts of the world that mostly aren't seen and you have to travel to, you have to know about. There's just people who have been really, really wanting to destroy my skin statue or my lighthouse or really everything. It looks like every someone just went around and was like, you know what, I want one of every build to be destroyed. And you know, if that's the thing you want most in life, then fair enough, I guess. And they've spawned a wither too. Isn't that nice of them? But um, yeah, it seems as though people really, uh, you know, like want to destroy certain things. But you know what? They think it's destroyed, but it's coming right back. Wow, I can't help but feel like this looks suspiciously familiar. I feel like we've been here before almost. Probably imagining it though. I mean, uh, you know, this is day one of the realm experiment after all. <laughs> Every day when I reset everything, I should just say this is day one of the realm experiment. And just see how long it takes to drive people insane with that one line. So uh, yeah, look how nice the realm is everyone. 
But we'll see until they notice enough to start making more productive changes. Or maybe more destructive ones. Again, I, I don't actually know like how I would react. Like, are you going to want to do more destructive things? Like, cause destruction is easier to do. Or are you gonna wanna do more productive things to try and get the realm not to reset as much? Cause I, I generally couldn't see it. Anyway, we'll leave people be. We'll see what they get up to over the next 24 hours, shall we? Oh no, someone's already worked it out. Three days in, Groundhog Minecraft. See, if you, if you, if you tell someone that they made a funny joke, then they won't realize that it's the truth. That is my understanding of social interactions. So <laughs> Let, let's hope no one else figures it out. Okay, the fact that this managed to happen in one day is absurd. There is, I believe, a mega beacon. Actually, not technically a mega beacon, it's only five beacons. But still, five, six with a mega beacon, one of Minecraft's hardest structures to make, right here at the spawn. And then next to that, you can see how, like, oh yeah, we've got this cool little tower right here, if you want a, an elite launcher. Really cool little system. And then also, you can see the villages. It seems as though it's either been expanded or it's just had more buildings put here. The entire spawn area that used to be a village is now a little community in Instead, that even includes a little government office and long live Toy Cat and modern day capitalism. You know, sure, why not? Toy Cat taxing station one, two. How, how do you tax people if they're trapped in a little. Maybe you stand behind the desk and you ask people to pay their taxes politely. Not in my capitalist utopia, you don't. But um, yeah, this is a really, really, really weird thing to see. Like, I knew the realm would be popular, people wanting to check it out, but I didn't realize this popular within the space of a day. It's pretty nutty to see all the things around here. There's even a cool little pathway that someone's built going all the way up up here onto the nearby mountain, which has also been terraformed into its whole own thing. It's sad that for some reason, uh, whenever good things get built, people tend to kill villagers at the same time. But still, it's really cool the, you know, possibilities of seeing all the things that we could have around the village if we wanted to, because the walls are intact, just not the villages, sadly. Also, Toy Cat is intact, that's nice too. This has to be the worst pixel art I've ever seen of myself, but at least there's a sign nearby saying Toy Cat is yes. However, you know what, despite all this stuff, a part of me is a little bit suspicious. Whenever I see a, a mega beacon installed at spawn, I'm like, who duplicated? You, that, that's against the rules. Everyone knows it's against the rules, but people are like, haha, I don't know. And although it could have been gotten legitimately because it is emerald, which they could have moved it from somewhere else in the world, you know, always be a bit suspicious and always punish people regardless because you know what the best punishment for that is? We're going to reset the world right now, all the way back to where it was yesterday. It's funny, no one's even said anything. They've just kind of accepted like, huh, guess we're back here again. Guess this is where the realm was meant to be right now. So sure, fair enough, I guess. So if the last time we reset, we got the best and most productive, uh, you know, 24 hours so far, I think this last 24 hours has definitely been the worst by any measure of that term. I mean, Toy Cat has stayed, except it's actually different lettering, so Toy Cat has been replaced. My ladder staircase thing has stayed, and the walls are vaguely in place. Everything else, though, has been destroyed, it looks like, and uh, there's just giant holes in the ground. There's ender chests placed around the, the area, and you can even see there's a giant Toy Cat with a torch statue, although it's a pretty bad toy cat of a torch statue. This is what spawn is now. Maybe the rest of the world is better to make up for these ridiculous ravines and dropper machines that you can see around here though. Everyone's just accepted that, yep, you know what, big hole in the center of the world looks like a toy cat experiment to me. And you know what, maybe that's a, a fair reaction at this point. Also, I think someone lifted my house up by about two blocks, as you can see right here. Oh, the beacon was in fact stolen. You can see someone has stolen it and blown up what used to be there. And someone has decided, you know what, Toy Cat's house, too accessible for. We need to add in a few more layers of confusion here. But, oh no, they, take, they took the bed and replaced it with a you smell sign. Something I'll admit I do find kind of funny is they've replaced the Ocelot statue of a mustache and a nice little hat. I actually really like that. A part of me wants this to be the official way that goes. Maybe we'll do that like Explorer Toy Cat, the Colonel. But yeah, in conclusion, I feel like we could do with a little bit of a, uh, you know, a little bit going back in time. Maybe precisely 24 hours back in time, actually. So let's go and do that now. So I'm trying to do this at the same time every day, about 2 p.m., just in case you're wondering. And uh, that should mean that roughly the same people are joining each day, with some new people joining too, of course. Um, but I'm curious to see, uh, you know, like their behavior seeing every day. Are they gonna start to get more destructive? Because <laughs> I guess no one noticed yet. Hey, don't, <laughs> don't tell anyone what's happening here. But you can kind of see that like, um, 
You know, I, I, I want to know if people will start to think like it's going to be reset every day no matter what or if they'll think we need to stop the resets, you know? It's the very question of the Groundhog's Day of like, well, you know, do you just enjoy it? Do you go rob banks and have the most fun you can? Or do you work out, you know, like how to take advantage of this fact? And uh, this is something I want to see how people work with. So we've got one person who's just rejoined the world and let's see what happens when the rest do. So this time the realm has definitely taken a slightly different course. It looks like people have covered up the, you know, the area of the spawn area with a layer of dirt to make the walls lower, not by lowering the walls, but by raising the ground level in between them. I can't work out if that was intentional or what just happened to me. But anyway, so that's the thing that people are doing. Also, you can see how somehow, <laughs> I don't know why or how, but this Toy Cat statue idea has uh, not only been retained, but this time it's become King Toy Cat because it's got an enchantment table hat, which is the most ridiculous use of enchantment table. But I mean, sure, why not? It's a very fun little idea for a house, I guess. And you know what? Might as well have some storage in here too, right? Okay, you know what? I'm tempted. There's a giant yellow heart next to an arrow pointing down. What do you think is down there? What do you think they're leading me towards? Or leading everyone on the realm towards? Because there's a lot of dumb stuff around here. But maybe this isn't dumb. You know what? I lied. This is pretty darn dumb. It just points to a bunch of up arrows. That's literally all it is. They love down or damn with love. They want to bring love down. They want to bring the peace and unity that this realm could bring if everyone worked together. They want to bring that down and instead they'd rather bring other stuff up. So yeah, the thing I'm noticing is as we go further and further into the generations, people actually, they're working on spawn more, but also a different group of people. I guess it's the, the same group that uh, have been playing for longer and longer, are moving further and further away and doing actually pretty impressive stuff. Look at this house right here. Pretty nice, right? Look at this little fort. I love this for a desert build. This is really, really nicely put together. It's police headquarters, apparently. I mean, where were you, police HQ? But um, yeah, basically you can see how people are spreading out further and further and further away um, from the spawn area, because I mean, it's an infinite world. Uh, people are used to the small styles worlds where you have to build next to everyone, but I guess people are realizing like, oh yeah, we can head out of the way and we'll be fine. It, it looks like people have recreated a village just away from spawn, except it's a desert village too. And you know, there's a lot of confusing things going on here, but fascinating realm to look at in my opinion. It's as ak mum. I don't believe this is anyone's mother. I do believe this is a really nice mine entrance though. It looks like they purposely mined all of that, even though I'm sure this spawned naturally. There's something about framing natural Minecraft features that can make it look like you've done something really impressive that I, I personally love and always, I'm always learning that from these realms, honestly. I'm also learning that not a day goes by where people won't travel the, you know, one and a half thousand-ish blocks that it takes to get to my house and uh, deciding that, you know what, this needs to be an update aquatic house apparently, and so they do that. I mean, it's not very nice of them, you could say. You know, it's, I, I, I don't think there's any way you could justify this as being nice. I think there was a war fought with lava and water over the house that has led to this happening. And you know what? This is so much for tragedy. You know what the only fair you know, punishment, the only fair way to fix this is? You know what it is. Hello, it's like cat might be life. Thank you, one stranger. You clearly have a lot of work to do, but thank you for that. Unless maybe that's protecting the house. Maybe on the inside it's entirely fine. Oh, that's kind of cool, I guess. My house is okay, as long as you, as long as you can get past this wall. <laughs> but yeah, do you know what we do when bad things happen to the realm? That's right, we're going back in time. About 24 hours, uh, actually. So you can literally see 10 seconds after the reset, someone is just running away. They even mined a hole in the wall to do so. And they're just like, I'm starting my house in the desert far away from this mess. There's another guy following as well. I'm glad you like the world so much. It's a Zach mum. Although wait, they're the person from the last time. So they, do they just not recognize it last time maybe? Do you think a lot of people who join after the spawn's been destroyed have no idea what it's meant to be? Because without this, it's not very recognizable, I guess. So yeah, there's this really interesting thing where there's clearly been some amount of like destruction happening already and some amount of hacking based on blocks like this appearing. And uh, that's really interesting to me for a few reasons. But one of the things that I love looking at is if you actually check, like people have their own theories about what's happening. And I saw this tweet that said, hackers keep rolling back the server, reset two times in less than five minutes. People think it's the hackers that are rolling back the server and I think that's super amusing. So yeah, uh, theories as to the Groundhog's Day aren't appearing as much as I assumed they would, but people are doing a good job rebuilding even with whatever they have left even if there's a ridiculous amount of withering done in that time okay so 24 hours later today it seems as though the realm is mostly empty and someone's put a crasher in there it seems
Okay, this is a pretty cool one. Someone has actually spotted that every day the realm is resetting and they put a warning in the sky to everyone else. The realm resets. <laughs> I think that's pretty nutty actually. And like, uh, this is the spawn. Also, the realm resets. It's kind of like mementos where the guy has to write things all over his arms to remind himself of stuff. This is like, everyone, please remember, it's gonna reset. It's all gonna be gone soon. And maybe as part of that, or maybe uh, coincidentally, or maybe he just got the materials from the explosions. There's been so much more destruction this time than any time before. You can see how people clearly built something nice here. I mean, well, clearly someone destroyed the village, then someone built something nice here, then someone destroyed the something nice, and then you can see the layers of it happening in the space for 24 hour period. It's quite lovely, isn't it? See, at one point, I think this was quite lovely, and it even had a lovely statue of Toy Cat, which is now uh, just a de facto thing here. But no, yeah, everything around the spawn area at least has been destroyed. But you know what? Again, we have to check out a little bit around here, including apparently my house, according to one guy in chat. What could go wrong? We're following chat directions. All I've seen in my spawn is a heart on top of one of the cubes, so nice job of that. I see a little bit of Nevrak over here that says, poo. And then someone's terraformed this with trees a little bit because this is the new society. <laughs> yeah, it looks like this this house right here with the, the like washing up in the window, the drying up I should say. Like, you know, like you wash your clothes, you need to dry them. And also you can see how it seems like they've decided to make it a much cooler house on the inside. It's filled with stone bricks. And I think that's offensive. You weren't meant to make my house look bad by terraforming it. This is a disgrace to the Toy Cat world. Although actually, I kind of like the idea of having a dragon head like always bobbing in a corner somewhere. So I definitely should do that and maybe it's worth killing the wither just to make a beacon for decoration. But yeah, there's a lot of cool features going on around here. Even the chest room is, uh, you know, doored off now. And I bet there's a secret behind the painting. If there's not, they have missed out seriously on one of the... There isn't, you're not. They don't understand how any of this works. Okay, this time there's something behind the painting though, right? Nope, okay, there's, they've just removed parts of the, 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 the house and put things there instead. They've even turned my potato room into a kitchen which then leads into the furnace. No, the furnace room is gone too. They have just stolen my house and they've taken it all for themselves. This is not our craft. This is Minecraft. I am seriously offended. And you know what I do when I'm offended? I love just the oh no in chat. Like something bad is about to happen. Uh, why? <laughs> Maybe, I, I wonder if like this is now a group of people who are just fully aware that yes, every single day it seems to reset. Things seem to go places, then they reset. I've had so many complaints that people being like, man, hackers are managing to reset the realm now, which one is within the realm of what hackers can do. It's, it feels like it is based on the ridiculous things they can do with crashing the spawn and stuff like that. Um, but two, it's kind of just a, a funny little thing. See, people will interact with a fresh world over again. So let's wait and see what happens this time. Wait, I think I've just found something. I, you know, the realm uh, feed is something you're meant to have on private realms, but I have on my public realms so that anyone can post whenever they like. And it's really weird looking through this because you can see like uh, a stupid end as one of the posts. Or like, the game is broken every time we try to get in, we do, but then it kicks us out, WTF. And it's like, it's, it's funny to see. A guy spawned a block of end portal and sent me there. I hate him. Well, that was useful. I don't remember his game attack properly. That is the most useless story you could tell. A bad thing happened to me before. I don't know who did it, but I want you to hear about it, Toy Cat. It's like, thank you for this uh, blessing you've given us. But anyway, so uh, yeah, I, I really want to know, this build whatever you like, it almost seems past progressive. Uh, if this is going to allow people to be like, you know what? We have true freedom. We can build nice things, or if the destruction is just going to be worse. But we'll find out in 24 hours, won't we? Real quick, I just saw someone ask, how often does it reset? People have now accepted it resets and they're questioning like, well, I mean, let's just work out when that is so we can play around it. Uh, it's interesting, you know, the behavior, it's a shock the first number of times, then people try to work out what it is. And presumably if you go long enough, people will just know exactly what's happening and when, and then they can take advantage of that rule set. This is something you see with actually video games as they fresh come out. Like it's kind of like a meta that's being discovered. Also a guy literally said, uh, the realm resets like every day. He didn't know precisely, but he has nailed it with his wild guess. And that's what tends to happen with games as well. Like people, you know, they guess. A lot of people are wrong. Some people are right. And uh, some people use that information to do good things. And some people use it to make a village again. I can't tell if this is reconstructed or if people just really didn't destroy it that badly this time. But you know what? There's still 12 hours. The, the day is young. <laughs> <laughs> There's even a little resistance here. No reset, please. A part of me was really thinking, maybe even hoping you could say, um, that like people would not 
actually, you know, spot the entire, <laughs> like, uh, you know, 10 days or so. Like, they'd just be like, well, it's kind of weird that things keep changing, but you know, it's a server, it's wacky. You know, not, not everyone's not on the server the whole time, but people are aware of the resets and they, <laughs> they, are, they are resisting it, apparently. But yeah, I really am curious to see uh, how this one goes down over the next, uh, you know, 12 hours that they have to build themselves a great society. Or maybe people just like give up, they get apathetic because it's gonna reset anyway, what's the point? Uh, again, it's the it's the Groundhog's Day dilemma, but here in Minecraft. And I kind of love that we've built that so effectively because you know, silly experiments, you can't always expect perfect results, but in this case, we clearly are getting them. I mean, I guess what I can say this time is it's clearly been destroyed and people have clearly tried to put it back together. Although it must be recent because there's barely anything here. And uh, yeah, you can see the nice little toy cat thing has remained. Also, quite interestingly, this torch has been covered, desert has been covered in torches rather, with a nice little send feet pick sign. So no warnings about the realm resets, no warning about any of this, just a warning about feet picks, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, usually there's like some like semblance of something, you know, like real alongside the destruction. But besides this spawn area that's being rebuilt, and by the way, pretty badly, uh, no offense people. But, um, you know, besides that, you can see looking around here that like, yep, there's pretty much nothing that's actually built and not destroyed. If we just had a wave of destruction, or maybe today people are just like, well, what's the point? It'll be reset, so I might as well have fun. Uh, what's the point of maintaining law and order when you know everything will be reset later anyway? It's a real genuine point that I guess you could struggle with in the Western world in general, but also that you struggle with in servers. I mean, look at this. This was clearly some form of nice house, and now it's just a giant hole in the ground with maybe a front and also a campfire for some reason. So, you know, this reset is gonna, you know, like at, at least the next reset can't get much worse than this, I don't imagine, in terms of just how bad and destructive people got. So let's roll it back. Well, the horny python reckons that this is just a new spawn, so maybe everyone will go with that. It's crazy to see that pretty much immediately after starting up the world, someone steals all of the potatoes from the farm, someone starts running off like someone's already gone all the way out here, it looks like. It's really interesting to look at the behaviors of people who have just been spawned to a fresh world because lots of people are just stealing crops immediately. Lots of people are already starting the destruction to get themselves some free resources because that guy found, uh, you know, they know where to find the stuff that, you know, exists in my world. I have lots of enchanted pickaxes in the chest here from the 256 pickaxe. Uh, go. I, I got a lot of pickaxes, okay. So given that this is almost the last reset now, I want to see, uh, you know, how much different people's behavior is now, that they're mostly aware of what's going on. Again, you can see people act much faster when the reset happens. They factored that into their plans. It's a really interesting thing where a surprise event is only a surprise the first few times it happens. After some point, it becomes part of the routine. And that means that although this is the most planned of all of them, and therefore it should be the most different in terms of behavior, that means it works both ways. People act faster when they spawn, but presumably once a little bit of destruction happens, people will be willing to just get away from there immediately. Also, is someone really making a house of these dimensions, like that wide but this tall? It, it, it looks like they are. I don't know if I approve of that, but apparently fair enough. So yeah, we're now at the point where people are just aware of the resets. People live a life with no regrets. People do the craziest stuff. You see, uh, there's just happening again and again and again, almost on a perfect loop every 24 hours. However, that's fun enough and we could probably end the video right here. But a part of me is just like, but what if we twisted it? What if we, what if we kept on going? What if we, uh, you know, changed people's expectations? Because now we can do the exact same thing, but instead of just being like, oh yeah, 24 hours later, I'll fix your mistakes. Yeah, all your mistakes that you've made will just be undone, etc. What if we actually decided not to? What if after a long week of resets every 24 hours, almost on the hour, what if we just go a while? And, and by while, I mean several days. And what if we see how people react to that? So I'm going to just leave the server be now for the next, uh, you know, several days. I, I don't even know when I'm going to come back. I'm just going to come back to the server and I'm going to see how things are after a significant passing of time. Uh, because yeah, I am super, super curious. So two weeks later, where a reset was expected, but none ever came, uh, this is the result of the server. We have a lot of terrain that's been destroyed and left. We have a spawn area, uh, or at least the area I spawn people in, the village, uh, which is entirely destroyed. And in some places even looks a little bit like an anarchy server. You can see this like weird cobblestone structure that spawned right here, clearly from some lava at the top. There's lots of weird things that are going down uh, on this server, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And some of those things aren't entirely awful. Look at this over here, for instance, like someone has taken, um, you 
you know, my, uh, my, my house in Minecraft, and someone has built themselves a nice little fort using bedrock, so they're clearly a cheater, but I mean, it's, it's nice. It's, it's unexpected for a server like this, I would say, if, if nothing else. And honestly, the rest of the server kind of follows. There's griefing everywhere, as you just expect when you have a server of this nature, but then also you find these cute little houses with pathways leading to them into the forests, etc. And pretty much everywhere as, you know, that's connected anywhere in my Let's Play world has been destroyed in some way, but everywhere between those areas has some nice amount of work done to it of some nature. For instance, my flatland, as you can see, is entirely, you know, kind of wrecked. I mean, it's not a flatland if it's got all these holes in. Same with my uh, sugarcane farmer's example. Like, I mean, most of it's intact, but there's just some weird bits right there. Someone tried to make a house up here, then someone tried to destroy their house, and as a result, the sugarcane farmer's in tatters. Uh, most of the key things from the Let's Play world that people recognize are the areas people coalesce around, but things that are adjacent to that, I mean, again, like, you just look at the weird holes in my gold farm, but then if we, or my ex-gold farm, it doesn't work anymore, fun fact. But if we go over to areas like this, just past my uh, bamboo automatic farm and where my bee is, you can see how someone has transformed my entire extreme hills into this wonderful savannah mountain biome. It is really beautiful to see how this looks right here, and it takes advantage of a biome in a really, really nice way. Again, uh, my my kind of, uh, my horse uh, thing is intact, and the biome between it looks way better than I could have imagined. This is something that is an idea that I really want to take myself. Someone, despite this being a server, how did the donkey just, somehow has led results with things like this that are absolutely beautiful to look at and inspire me about my world. Something I, again, I was hoping, but not really expecting for. And uh, there's even weird things like this giant uh, fox right here, which can, you know, when you combine with the Ubu sign over there and the person whose name was literally just Ubu, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned as to why they built these things and what it's doing in Minecraft, but you can't fault their Minecraft skills. Say what you want about people who identify as foxes, but apparently they know how to redesign biomes in pretty effective ways. Uh, pretty effective ways I totally want to take um, on board myself. But then as well as that, uh, for example, you can see looking around the rest of the world, there is a lot of destruction again in the, the key. <laughs> this is just, it's a wreck in so many ways. There is no track of my spawn in the zero zero area, which I guess is where people coalesce. There's just giant craters there instead, which mostly came from withers and TNT explosions. It's just people deciding that, you know what, this let's play world that I've seen in videos, I want it gone. At one point there was a rebel resistance in the Death Star dome, but that too has been destroyed. There is this beautiful thing of like, uh, the cyclical nature of servers and how someone can be built and then immediately destroyed afterwards. And then things like this diamond cube can be built in their place. But yeah, everything is a mess is what I'm trying to say right here. People kept waiting for the reset that didn't happen, but it's not entirely bad. In a world where you expect everything to be destroyed and where everything, uh, you know, like that has any value to some people is destroyed, certain things got built and then some of those things got destroyed, but there's always the resistance, there's always the want to build more. In a world where there's no point to anything, where the realm has been over for over two weeks and where there's been, again, no uh, real video reason or otherwise to exist on the server, there is still people adding their impact to the world largely negative, but also in lots of cases quite positive. In the case of this area right here, it's beautiful in a way that, again, there was no reason for them to do, and soon it will be gone, but for now at least, they've done something. <laughs> I mean, even the way they've written this is like clever. They use black maps in an item frame, but um, yeah, it's something I find to be really clever, if, if kind of weirdly intentioned, and it's something I really like, and it's totally gonna take on board my own world. I love that in a world where I wasn't even expecting to do this or expecting to see it, um, we've ended up getting a big video idea for my Let's Play world, and that's what this whole video was all about. You thought it was an experiment about resetting the world and then not doing it? Nah, this was all just a way for me to get ideas for my Let's Play world, which is, of course, uh, the weekly series on this channel, as well as what I do on live streams and stuff. There's a lot of really cool things here that I, I really want to take on board, and that maybe we'll totally just do, because who doesn't love the idea of having a secret base in a mountain? Or, not so secret, really. But, I mean... Yeah, if we, if we left this for another week, I'm sure it wouldn't exist anymore. But the fact that we came here at this exact right time is something I like, at least a little. And maybe you do too. Either way, though, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like it if you did like it. Share if you really liked it. And, of course, you can subscribe with notifications turned on if you want to see more videos like this. If you're curious about these uh, server experiments, because we tend to do one, like, every month or so, um, I do tweet out on Twitter when one is available. Obviously, because there's only 10 people around in Minecraft realms right now, that is something, uh, you know, that very few people uh, do get on board with. Um, but the next one I want to do is going to be bigger than 10 players, is my expectation. 
And that's all I'll say for now. But yeah, I do realms because even though they're limited to 10 people, it means people on any platform can play. And that's something that adds to the diversity of these experiments, which makes them much better in my opinion. But maybe you disagree. Let me know in the comments down below why diversity is bad. And I'll see you all in the next comment. <laughs> good outro. Good outro. Goodbye.